Hi, my name is Jacob Dennison. I'm a prosthetist. This is Ken, and he's going to help us show you how to put on and take off what we call BK armor. This is a brace that you would use after amputation to help keep your knee straight, to help prevent swelling, and in general to protect it. And so to begin, I'm just going to let you know that this is like an average fitting. So if you get told something differently from your physician or from the practitioner that's fitting you with the brace, follow those instructions. But in general, it's a pretty simple brace, and so we'll, we'll go over some of that. This is the brace itself, and it comes with a lot of instructions and a lot of replacement parts, socks and pads that we're gonna show you what you should be getting in each packet. But to start off with, you're gonna usually get fit with this in the hospital, and you might have a suture line here that has a little bit of leaking or it's not fully healed. You always want to make sure you cover that before you put on your sock because you don't want to have any issues with taking the sock off and having it leak into there. So to begin with, you just put the sock on and pull it the whole way up. This is something that the practitioner is going to help you with when you're being fit in the hospital or anywhere else. First is this white compression sock. Next is this black charcoal pad that we call it. Make sure that's up against the bottom of your limb, that the sock's nice and high. Undo your neoprene Velcro closures. You set the limb down into there and make sure it's the whole way to the bottom of the brace. And the prosthetist, while they're fitting it, will do any adjustments needed to make this fit properly. After that's on, you're gonna do your closures. And when you pull the, the closure on, you want to start with the top so that you can make sure that you get it nice and tight above the kneecap. This is one of the things that's going to keep it from sliding down. So set the, the Velcro where you need to onto the side of the brace. There's two, two pieces of Velcro on each side to connect it. This is a pretty, pretty snug here in order to lay in bed and not have it come off. When you go to stand up, you may need to put this a little bit tighter to keep gravity from pulling it off, or you may need to use a suspension belt that we're gonna show you in a second. But you can go down to the bottom strap, put it right over top where you need it, pull it down over the Velcro. It should connect on the bottom and on the sides and go over the knee. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's on there, it's okay if you have a little bit of a gap here. Um, but you do want this one above the kneecap. You want the limb in the bottom of the brace and it pulled up to the bottom of the limb. And it's very important that you put a pillow under the bottom. So you're gonna set some kind of pillow. It doesn't have to be this thick, but you wanna make sure that it's from here down. You don't, don't want any pillows directly under the knee or under your thigh. Part of this is to keep this brace from coming up into your leg, and part of it is to just make sure that gravity's pushing down and keeping your knee nice and straight, because we want to prevent any muscle tightening from behind the knee. And this is, for the most part, how it will fit. And in general, you're gonna wear this at all times, except for bathing and checking or changing your wound um, bandaging. And like I said, unless a doctor advises otherwise, then you're gonna go with what the doctor says. But I want to show you, if, if you're having a hard time when you stand, you're having a hard time keeping this on your leg and it's kind of falling down. Typically, this strap being tight will solve that. But if it doesn't, if that doesn't solve it, you take that part off and we have a suspension sleeve here that replaces that bottom. And all it is is a, a bottom strap to keep it on connected to a waist belt. So you can lift the limb up there and go ahead and relax and you can see with a lot of velcro here when you when you do take anything off to try and keep the velcro attached to itself but pull that over the top and you have two straps that are what we call a fork strap coming off of this that will come up and around the front so we're going to go ahead and Put this around your waist. Going in the lock again first, sir. Yeah. Okay. 
And you want to make sure these are over top of your hip bones and when, when you go to stand, pull it nice and snug so that so it's going to keep it from falling off of the front there. So it's as easy as that. Um, and this all stays on when you're going to take it off. Go ahead and unstrap that. And I would take off one side of this. It's not important how you take it off as long as everything stays together. We're not losing anything. Take that off. And when you take this off, I'd usually just take one side off and you can always reset everything at the end. Take that off, take that off in your sock. And you get a lot of six extra socks and two extra distal pads. And if you ever need anything in general, you just give us a call. Our number is on all kinds of information that we'll be giving you. You can call anytime for any questions or problems. And if we go over here, we have all the stuff that you should get in a packet. We have the folder that comes with a lot of different information about what to expect as a new amputee. We have the wear and care, how to put it on, how to take care of it, which a lot of that I just went over. And you get six of the socks that go on the limb and then two of these charcoal pads and then another piece of instructions for the suspension belt only.